वेलकम टू वेबस्टार प्लस हाउ टू पुश एग्जिस्टिंग रिपोजिटोरी टू गेट हब फ्रॉम कमांड लाइन और सिंपली हाउ टू पुश कोड टू एग्जिस्टिंग रिमोट रिपोजिटोरी ऑन गेट हब फ्रॉम कमांड लाइन क्लोनिंग रिपोजिटोरी फ्रॉम गेट हब वर्किंग इन इट एंड पुशिंग चेंजेस बैक टू रिमोट रिपो इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट से यू हैव कोड दैट यू वॉन्ट टू पुश टू एग्जिस्टिंग रिपोजिटोरी ऑन गेट हब हाउ वुड यू डू दैट फॉर दैट लेट्स क्रिएट ए न्यू रिपो ऑन गेट हब from repositories click new give it a name create repository github gives us commands to push an existing repository from the command line where it says or push an existing repository from the command line these are commands that we need but don't use these right away otherwise you will get this error src ref spec main does not match any or failed to push some refs to remote repo what you should do is open terminal in local project folder and use git init to initialize git now this is a local repository and you see this folder with period git it's a hidden folder now use git add period add all files to git then use git commit dash m with any message to commit changes and now use these commands git remote add origin and then repo address git branch dash m main and then finally git push dash u origin main and the code is pushed to remote repo on github let's see code and here is our file index.html this one let me clarify a few concepts period in git add command means add all files the dash m flag in git commit is used to specify a commit message directly in the command line without opening a text editor the dash m flag in the command git branch dash m main is used to rename the current branch to main this command is often used to change the default branch name for example from master to main the dash u flag in the command git push dash u origin main sets the upstream tracking reference for the branch dash u establishes a link between your local branch and a remote branch after setting the upstream you can use git push and git pull without specifying the remote and branch as git will know to use the default upstream settings okay so here it is git init git add period git commit dash m with the message then git remote add origin then git branch dash m main and finally git push dash u origin main okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next one